16. Predict the sign of the entropy change for the following processes. And then we have this example right here. An ice cube is warmed to near its melting point. Okay. So when we now want to predict the sign of the entropy change, we're now adding the letter to what entropy is. Entropy is a S value. Now, since they want us to find the change, remember, change is always that triangle, right? So this would be technically delta S, triangle S, right? But this is technically a delta sign. So we just want to figure out what's going on with this scenario. Is my delta S, is the change going to be a positive value or a negative? Well, we have to figure out what's going on with these states. Now, they said that there's an ice cube, right? And an ice cube is basically H2O in a solid form, right? It's solid H2O. And what's going on here? Well, it's being warmed, right? So what happens when you warm up an ice cube? Yeah, it melts, right? It's getting very, very, very close to its melting point. And what state would the water be, the H2O, when it's melting? Yeah, it's going to turn into a liquid. So in this case, we have a scenario in which H2O solid is going to H2O, or very close to, near H2O liquid. What delta S would that be? Well, anytime that you're going from a solid to a liquid to a gas, if you're going in this direction, your changes, you're gaining in entropy. Right from solid to liquid to gas, you're always going to gain entropy. So that means that your delta S value would have to be a positive value. That change, the change in entropy, has to be positive because you're going to more entropy. So whether you want to say delta S is a positive value or you can say that the delta S has to just be greater than zero, they both are the same exact answer. So, right, because anything greater than zero is a positive value. So that's the answer here. Since we're going from a solid to a liquid, the delta S has to be a positive value or just greater than zero. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel. Thank you so much for all your support. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.